There's a baby just flying around eating people and choking them out. Mike, Dr. Mike? Yes. What's my name? Glam and Gore. No, what's my name? Mikey. What did you mispronounce? I don't know, you told me I said your name wrong. When? On a YouTube video. That was your comment. You're like, oh yeah, we can collab once you get my channel name right or something. Did you call you me Mickey? Definitely not. Did you call me Glam Gore? A lot I, of people do I that. may have. Oh no, I was reading uh, someone's comment that saying that we should collab and yeah. I read how they wrote it. Oh. So you can't blame me if sure. someone else wrote it that way. That's my excuse. Sounds likely. Guys, this but that's is- what, That's what I feel like happened. I'm sorry. You know what? Your intro's gone now. Sorry, okay. Nope. Do it again. Guys, this is Dr. Mike, which you probably already know because he is the doctor of YouTube. But if you don't know, his channel is super cool. He talks about all kinds of interesting things, except he actually knows what he's talking about. So it's highly entertaining. And if you haven't checked him out, you should. All of his information will be in the description down below. Or you could just search Dr. Mike because I think there's only one of you. There's a lot, but I hope I'm oh. the more popular one. Probably. I hope yeah. so. Fingers crossed. You are very glam in your scrubs. Thanks. Thank you for dressing up for me. Yeah, because I felt like if we're going to talk about medical stuff, I have to at least pretend I'm a doctor. Oh, it's going to get really medical up in here today because what <laughs> we're going to do, like the title says, is he's going to be reacting to the most iconic, classic horror movie makeup. Oh my god. With some extra things that are not in horror, but I just want to see your reaction. But we just talked about this. I'm not a scary movie person. I get scared. You have the wrong person for this. Like if you walked in here with scary movie makeup on, I would pass out. I should have done that. And then I would need a doctor and who would help me? Pause. No. You sit right there. No. Close your eyes. No. Close your eyes. Don't do it. Do it, close your eyes. Just I, wait. I hear, I hear some kind of latex. Okay, open. Oh my God. That's, oh my. Do you do this for fun? <laughs> no, but like, doesn't this scare you? I, this is what I don't understand about scary movies. You don't think this is fun? But oh look, our first react. <laughs> okay, well this How is- How anatomically correct is this? Uh, this is not a human, right? No, it's a pig. So then I don't know. Oh, okay. We need to get a different doctor up in here. Sorry. Doesn't it make you feel queasy and uneasy and unhappy? Says the guy who probably cut open cadavers? Yeah, but I didn't do that for fun. That was for the greater good of humanity. Oh. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> what do you mean you're an artist? That's the point of being an artist. That's right, I'm an artiste. Do you hear that? Yeah. I'm an artist. Yes, yeah, she is. And you're a doctor. Yeah. A real doctor, guys. And we're gonna save the world together. Yeah. One zombie at a time. Oh! Yeah, look at you. A true fan. I know, Not the terminology. We should start a Mikey Mike series. Mikey Mike podcast from across the country. Yeah, we artist, can... doctor, perfect. Everything that a doctor can't do, an artist should be able to do. Everything that an artist should do, a doctor can't do. I think you just said the same thing. Yeah, I don't know what I just said. <laughs> Are That's you sure you're a real like. doctor? Yeah, I promise. Not just on TV. Let me see your credentials. Okay. Okay. Well, anyone can get something embroidered, Dr. Mike. Don't tell people that. They're going to go me. out and do that, and then people are going to run around the streets like, hey, I'm a doctor too. See? That is very true. Wait, speaking of you're a doctor, mm -hmm. I just have to ask one thing. McDonald's, yeah, Dr. I, Mike? I had McDonald's today. Explain that to me. <sighs> I've seen so many of your diet videos, health videos. I feel like I have to do uh, one of those. I have to address the controversy on my channel. <laughs> Wait, start out with a sigh. <sighs> Good. What they're saying is true. I ate McDonald's today and it wasn't a salad. <laughs> Star, turn it off! Okay, so basically, I tried to pick a lot of classic horror movies for this, thinking that a lot of you will have seen them and I won't have spoiled anything for you, but little did I know, I'm spoiling all the best movies for you. Now I have an excuse when someone comes over and like, hey, wanna watch? I'm like, I did a review, so I can't, I, I would love to, but I already know what's gonna happen. Oh, by the way, spoiler alert for this entire video. If I mention the movie and you haven't seen it and you don't want it ruined. Leave. There will be time codes in the oh. comments below or description below. Don't leave. Make like a tree and leave. <laughs> um, why is this a scary movie? It's not a scary movie, but I specifically want to see your reaction to his skin in this scene. You tell me if skin does the thing that they're oh saying God. skin does. Cool? Okay. Cool. Cool. Okay. cool, 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 cool. Why, who comes up with this? You. Someday. It's like a fable. That's Saw. Oh. That's glue, right? Super glue is what they're saying. But that looks like it's the glue that's sticking, not the, not the skin. skin. I mean, that looks like skin right there, right? Right? Does it do that, oh. that like cheese kind of effect when it rips off someone? Is that realistic? I've never experienced someone rip off their skin before. We usually cut into it quite gently. Oh my God. Oh. I'm so 
excited that you actually don't watch horror movies because this is going to be a fun this experience for you. This is so sick. Oh, my God. Okay, I can tell you what's behind the skin if it's accurate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm getting a little nauseous. It's oh. kind of crazy. Uh, <gasps> Do you see that? Oh, I didn't yeah. see it. I didn't okay, see on, it. Okay, we'll Put go it back. back. Oh. All right, so what's what's going on back there? Anything interesting? What's this, like, filmy layer? That looks like fascia, I think. It's hard to know. So generally, you have skin, then you have, like, fatty tissue, muscle tissue, but then you have fascia, which covers everything in the human body. It runs across the entire body. That's what sort of keeps everything from floating inside of you. Hmm. So I think that's fascia. Okay. Or gelatin is my guess. Well, that's what it is, but <laughs> they're trying to make it look like fascia. Cool. But it doesn't look good. Oh. And his muscles look weird. Oh. <gasps> Her head doesn't look good either. <laughs> All right, that's our first clip. How do you feel? I don't, this, you watch this and you laugh? <laughs> do you not like comedies? I do. But this. Guys, like this video if you want to see Dr. Mike watch a horror comedy. But you know the way the human mind works is when you watch something happen, that's why I'm actually getting nauseous, is oh, your oh, mind no. can't di distinguish whether it's happening to you or them. Right. So the same areas light up as if it's happening to you. That's why I'm getting a little. Is that why they say to do visualization because the mind doesn't know the difference between a real memory and a fake memory? You're laying the same neuronal networks down so you can later go on them. I know some things. Yeah, it's really good. That's, That's actually research. why people watch horror movies. They like the thrill yeah, safely? It'll, yes, it allows them to feel the, the thrill but not actually be in danger. Oh my god. Weird. I just prefer not being in danger. <laughs> like, I like feeling safe. Is that weird? That's Honest question. Maybe about. you answered this on your channel and I'm a bad fan, but why don't you do this? What do you mean? Makeup for movies? Yeah. I don't want to. Why? I want to make movies. I want to make horror movies. Okay, so what? Uh, but I'm saying, why don't you make horror movies? It's the plan. Peter and I have written a few so far. He's not even giving you the time of day. Wow, what a Sorry. great writing partner. Sorry. Peter. So, okay, what's stopping you? Stop trying to make my dreams come true. Sorry. I can't. It's too much. Sorry, the optimist in me. <laughs> this is from Saul 2. What I want to know with this specifically, I'll let you watch and then I'll ask my questions. Okay. <gasps> it's in his face? Is that the key for the, the Venus? Jigsaw claims to have put you know a key name? behind his eye. Yeah. Weird. Actually, pull back the x-ray. Let's do a Let's little x-ray review. The x Very doctoral, so yeah. I figured, you know, it was a good thing to show you. Very scientific. Oh, okay. First of all, that's really poor x-ray. Poor film x-ray. Okay, so that's right over the eye. Wait, why is it a poor x-ray? Well, because it's underexposed here. It's not great okay so a lot is happening like why are there like this isn't even a proper skull this isn't a human skull like there's something wrong here why these, these sinuses these little holes here are not right this looks like one of these like amateurish skulls that they just put underneath an x-ray <laughs> an machine amateur skull what an insult yeah so like, an amateur this skull. is amateur scully and then i don't know what happened here like anything that's very dense will mm -hmm. show up white on an x-ray machine right okay. so the key would show up white how in the world is oxygen penetrating that key that it pops up black like that. That's not real. Photoshop. Haters Photoshop. will say it's Photoshop. It's Photoshop. It's a low medical accuracy. I give it a C. A C. A C. I was thinking like two out of 10, but we're going with a C. We need like a maxo facial surgeon to help us with this. What are you? Family medicine. Not a real doctor. No. Not because you're a family doctor. But because just of like, you too. I just know you're not a real doctor. Okay, makes sense. Because this is just embroidered. Yeah. I mean, you could pay anyone to do this. Exactly. But yeah, okay, so I don't think he's doing a good job getting it out. No, he's not. Oh no, is it gonna happen? It's gonna happen. Oh my god, I'm about to sneeze at the same time that he's about <laughs> to die. Don't sneeze, Mike, don't sneeze. Oh my god. <laughs> Sorry. That was a really good fake sneeze. No, 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 that was real. Oh, I thought it was conveniently No, no that was real. Wow, yeah, no, I'm I think impressed. Was I was really close to sneezing, but I wanted to hold off. Okay. We're both judging you really yeah. hard over here. <laughs> Why would it, 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 oh, I was fighting the sneeze me? so hard. Yeah, yes. we're judging you. <laughs> Look, he did the acting to camera before with the whole McDonald's thing, and I thought he's a class act actor. Uh, I thought well, it was wow. a fake sneeze. I feel like you approve of my acting more than your, habits. More than your medical fake degree. medical degree. For real. For real. <laughs> this guy looks cold. This guy? Yeah. Do you not know what this is from? Nope. Oh my god. Is this, uh, oh, is this Game of Thrones? No! It looks like Game of Thrones. Oh my god. It looks like Jon Snow. Is that because he's covered in snow? Yeah, and his hair and all that. And have, have you ever heard of The Shining? Oh, um, that's the guy who sits at the Lakers games. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Nichol Nicholson. Sons. Nichols Jack Nicholson. Have you ever met my roommate Katie? She's as bad as you when it comes to knowing anything about movies. Well, he's old. Like 
Is he in Game any Thrones. movies now? Oh, he was in Departed, right? What is it? Yes. He's in so many movies. But old movies, before I even came to America. I don't know that either. He's but in doesn't this so... look like Jon Snow? From, from... I don't know who that is either. Dude, like if I showed you this, wouldn't you say that's Game of Thrones? You know how like there's those fake memes about mashing up like Game of Thrones, Star Trek, Star Wars to like piss off nerds? That feels like you guys are doing it. <laughs> you guys are doing it in real life, <laughs> but you is... mean it. No, but this looks like Jon Snow. Are you kidding me? Look at this. This looks like it's from this clip. <laughs> Bro, this video wow. is off the rails. <laughs> We've gone so far away from the. I feel like this is what YouTube's about. Yeah. It is. All right, so what do you think would happen to a body if it froze to death? Would it look like that? Is that I like think that? his eyes would close and freeze closed. Okay. Especially when rigor mortis sets in, nothing's moving. Well, that's why they're stuck up, right? But why up? Because he's a, a villain in a horror movie. Well, then that's not realistic. Okay. Because I feel like if you're cold, you close your eyes. Because you don't want them to freeze. Peanut gallery, I can hear you. She's Would asking, you like to share with the class? The she was asking if The Shining is a good movie. Is it? And I was trying to explain that it's considered one of the best movies it of all time. It is considered one of the best movies of all time. I yeah, think I've seen this too, by the way. Good! Like, it's in, in like a school project thing or something. That's like the scariest horror movie of all really? time. Really? But I it's think. so poor quality because it's like old that you're not going to get scared. It's like, do no! Like those are the scary sounds. <laughs> Really scary. <laughs> so bad. He just called Dick Smith poor quality. Who's for the record? Who's Richard Smith? Are you worried about demonetization on my channel yeah, more than me? Yeah. Okay, so this next clip. Oh, I Titanic! Want... This movie I watched. Okay. This is not a scary movie. Spoiler alert. It's not a scary movie, but I wanted to compare it to that guy you didn't recognize in the last clip. But, you know, Leo's dead here, and I know it's a little hard to see. He is dead? I thought he talks to her. Doesn't oh, he, like, start floating no. away, and then she's like, Jack, don't go, Jack. Yeah, because he's dead. But I don't know he's dead. I thought he's just really cold. Wait, is it known that he's dead in this scene? Yes. No. This is so wholesome. He, no, he, it. come on, you're I'm messing with me. Titanic. He's just cold. He's going to say something. Play it. I don't remember this, but I don't. He's moving. No, she's moving him. He's just really cold. You know, it's funny. I might have been so young that I watched this. I was like, he's just cold. Now he kind of looks dead. I didn't understand as a kid because she was like, I'll never let go. And then she straight up lets go immediately. Didn't yeah. know that that was like metaphorical. And I don't know why he didn't climb on top of her. She probably would have liked that for two reasons. That is the debate of our generation. There was room. Wait, so how do you feel about his frozen <sighs> dead body? Well, he's just a handsome feller. So he's going to look good. Not much medically. The frostbite underneath the nose could be real. Yeah. Because he was having mucus come out. So that could be legitimate. I kind of would have liked to see him fall off a little sooner if he's really dead. Their hands are like locked together and frozen. Oh, so she's would holding that happen? him. She's holding him? I think they're holding hands. In our next clip, we are watching one that you actually said you've seen. Yeah. It's the a low long, quality long one. Ago, yeah. The Exorcist, my favorite horror movie. Really? Yeah, that you trash talked like two minutes ago. But this is like so fake because it's so old. Oh, this is poor makeup. So that looks like an NG tube, which is called the nasogastric tube. If a patient cannot swallow, we can put one of those in. It goes right from the nose and goes right into the mouth and it bypasses the gag reflex so you don't have to gag. Oh. I will say the tape that's done on the NG tube is quite accurate. And what's, is she vomiting? What's the stuff on the bottom? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Pea soup. Yeah. Pea soup. It's like her thing. Yeah. I don't know. Her lips look weird. They're like chapped and stuff, I think. From all of is her that? vomiting. Horribly chapped. I don't think these are good. Thank God I'm not showing you my makeup. I was just going to say that. <laughs> like she looks like a zombie. Yeah, I mean, she is possessed by the devil, to be fair. Yeah, so she's not human. Yeah. So we can give them a pass here. And the NG tube looks great. I just love your reaction to this one because the makeup artist who did this, Dick Smith, is considered one of the best makeup artists of all This is amazing makeup, time. but you're asking if it's anatomically accurate. Two separate questions. Roll the tape back to a few minutes ago. Oh, this is poor makeup. Yeah, from a realistic standpoint. But the whole point of like crazy makeup is so that it doesn't look realistic and looks over the top. Gotcha, gotcha. I am so interested to see your reaction to this death. Whoa, I don't even remember this. This is CGI, right? Yeah, it's half practical, half CGI. Wow. So now, I, how likely is it that that man would have stood up post-bomb explosion, had a face like that? Like, there's no way. No, Right. that's Hollywood at its finest. That's He's not doing that. He's going into full shock. He's not getting up. <laughs> He's missing half his jaw and his eyeball. Like, would you be able to And I that see, point? like, there's no even brain matter behind the eye. Mm -hmm. He's not good. He's not getting up. He might crawl a little bit. Okay. Or if he was just laying, I could see him do some kind of action, but not stand up. The scene is awesome. It is very bad. I give this scene 10 out of 10, but like a 
one out of 10 in accuracy. Oh, do you know what scary movie I saw that you probably love? Human Centipede. That's on our list! Hold yeah, on, let, I me, watched let me find Human Centipede. I just need to know, how do you feel about this? Is it possible? Is the human centipede possible? Um, what what about it? Like, can you suture someone's mouth to someone's butt? You can. Yeah, and would they stay alive by eating the, you know? No, they would die from sepsis. Because in general, your digestive system and your colon, your rectum, your anus has a lot of gram-negative bacteria. And that gram-negative bacteria on their cuts, because those cuts take time to heal, while the other uh -huh. person's they're gonna get massively infected. They're gonna go into gram-negative sepsis. They're not- How quickly do you think they would die uh, from that? He could be pumping them with antibiotics, but even then, because you're not removing the source, they'd be dead in 48 hours. 48 hours? Yeah. Oh shit. Silence of the Lambs, classic. Have you heard of it? Yes. Okay. This is the Hannibal guy, right? Hannibal guy, yeah. yeah. Wait, he was wearing someone's face? He was face? wearing someone's face! So it's got like lacerations and stuff. And you think it's his face? Then he's like, psych bitch. Something about that doesn't make sense to me. Like, it looks like he's peeling off a layer of his own face. Watch. But you see, it looks like it's connected to his skin. Yeah. And then watch when he pulls it off. It looks like there's still stuff left over there. Oh, yeah. But then on the other side, he doesn't have it. Right. Trickery. Trickery. Take that one of the greatest movies of all time. Yeah. <laughs> Is this Texas Chainsaw Massacre? Yeah, this is- I just want you to compare your thoughts to the other skin-wearing person. He's wearing a face. Oh. Does that face look better worn to you than Hannibal Lecter? Yes. Really? Yeah. Alright, look at that. The remake of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. That looks so better. bad that it looks real. The other one looked oh. just too staged. Interesting. Yeah. Do you think that if you wore a face, it would look kind of like- It would look really badly mangled like that one did. <gasps> yeah. Gross. Okay, I think we have like five more. But if, if you hate this, you let me know. Are you kidding me? This is like the bomb diggity. It's a lot to throw at you all at once. Uh, Just like look at all this If all death. of them like were the first one that you showed me, I would not be able to continue. The first one was a lot. I had to start you off right. You didn't even warm me up. No, I didn't. Sorry. It's hard to warm I up. I guess because your like channel this. is called Glam and Gore. So. Yeah, you should expect it. So this is Friday the 13th. Oh! <gasps> So they went through his like esophagus and trach. I would have liked to hear more sound effects. More sound effects. More sound effects, and I don't think that could have been possible as easy as they made it seem. Is that just like one person putting a thing? This one guy just. But it's Jason's mom. Okay, so. Whoa. Spoilers. Whoa. <laughs> it's already spoiled. We're already past that. Knowing he dies and knowing who's the killer are very different spoilers. So. There's three things in the way there. Okay. The spinal cord mm -hmm. and the vertebrae, which are bones. And the so bed. If you're go and the bed, obviously. So like if you're doing that, that's hard. And you're gonna hear cracking and stuff. And it's not gonna be easy. Like you need some momentum. So like can't go from the bottom. Mm -hmm. And then you have the trachea, the esophagus. It has cartilage rings <laughs> around it. And then you would hear like the little cracking. So. Like what? <laughs> I okay. wouldn't do the sound effects so, for this movie. So not accurate is what you're saying. Mm -mm. And the blood's looking a little weak there. Look at this neck. It doesn't even match his face, which is like how I do my makeup every day. For real. Supposed to not about you. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This movie's great. I think they're really good, but you tell me if they're accurate. Okay. Oh. That looks real. Yeah! I felt good about that one. Why isn't it bleeding though? You tell me. Should it be bleeding? Probably. It looks fresh. Yeah, it's And fresh. he would be screaming right now. Screaming. Oh, like, with the duct, the duct tape. tape. The manipulation of the bone. Like, why did he stop screaming all of a sudden? He would be tight. doing that the whole time. If you have a, a bone that's like sticking out and hurting your tissues. No, if you had a fracture here and it's sticking out and it's hurting all of your tissues. Like, imagine these are all cuts. Every time I do this, you would want to scream bloody murder. Imagine now I'm doing this. Oh my god, true. You'd literally want to punch me in the face with your broken arm. Okay, yeah. all right, so. noted. God, you love Saw. There's just so many good examples here. And this one is perhaps one of the best examples for okay. you to react to because it's an autopsy. It should be accurate. Yeah, but you tell me. It gets real graphic. Am I traumatizing you? A little bit. <laughs> How's that brain look to you? That brain looks legit. Yeah? Right size, right consistency. Hmm. The little good. sulci are good. Oh. That's those are little folds. Oh. Does a dead brain look different than an alive brain? It, it depends how f soon the death was, but it'd probably be a little more dehydrated. So okay. it might shrink a little bit because it has less volume. Okay. See, this is too pretty. Too pretty? Yeah, this is too pretty. Really? Like you see how clean all these muscle fibers are? It's not that pretty. 
there would be a ton of white fascia all over the place. You'd be peeling it for hours. Really? It's not sexy to do a dissection. This I like is sexy. how this is a sexy version. Look at it, he has abs and his pecs <laughs> are out. He's like 85. What is that? The stomach. Does that look like a stomach to you? Yeah. Is there goo in a stomach like that? I don't know why it's so dark green. Bile is green, but it's not that color green. Okay. It's more like your shirt. Oh, this this is, is Chernobyl, okay. so I'm very curious how you feel about this stuff. Is this gonna ruin anything for me? <laughs> you know what happens, right? Yeah, I know what happens. Yeah. I feel like this is some of the best FX makeup I've seen in a really wow. long time. So you Shout tell out me. HBO. Aren't Whoa. they nominated too for it's, Emmys? It's for both that and Game of Thrones, same people. Makeup? Uh, so good. How's this guy look? Radiation poisoning. That looks legit. It's like burns. It's disfiguring. That's good. Uh, and like the glossiness yeah. to the skin, what is that? Is that something That's, that they He's running on? a fever. Oh, so he's sweating everything yeah, out? Yeah, it's called diaphoresis. You know, radiation's like one of those things, like when you see what it does to humans, it's just like insane. Because the problem with radiation is it damages our DNA and like just all of our cells. And like, I buy this. This is your best reaction yet to anything. This is legit. Which is really sad because Not a scary this movie. is something that actually happened. Yeah, that's why probably it's so accurate. This is real. And what's dangerous is people who've been exposed to radiation, they're themselves radioactive. So that's why she's behind curtains and, and stuff And she like should that? not be this close to him. Well, then how do you treat them? Is that why? Yeah, exactly. It's like you guys. Sorry, it's just got... <laughs> it, of all the things we've seen, that is the saddest. Oh! oh <laughs> hold on a second. Hold on one. a second. Hold on a second. Look at what it's titled. Very scary S-E-E-N. Scene! Very scene. <laughs> Is this the worst one? Did you save the worst this one? This is the finale. I can't wait to see your reaction is this to this. The one? Let's see. Spoilers, Katie! Oh, sorry. So this is a baby being born, an, a magical angelic baby Could coming you tell me the into Earth. About? It's about a baby that's born on 12, 12, 12. Oh, okay. And it's the demon seed. Is this a popular movie? No, oh, thank God. Okay. It's one of the best. But it is one of the best. Okay. Prepare your eyes. Okay. I want to know if this is how babies are born. Okay. Already a huge mistake. <laughs> Nothing even happened yet, and there's already a huge mistake. Come on. Let's run a hypothetical, you and I. Okay. Let's say the patient has an infectious disease. Do you think the doctor's eyes should be getting blood in them? Probably not. What do you think the doctor should have on top of the face mask? A little, a like shield. a welder's mask. Yeah, that's no, what I was going to say. A little plastic face shield, because otherwise, do you think blood just says, oh, we'll just hang out on the lower portion of your face, but not go into your eyes? Yeah. It went all over his shirt. Why is it in his eye? All right. Sorry. Take the reins. Yeah. What was that? Okay. <laughs> what is that? Is it a garden gnome? <laughs> very realistic baby. Well, the doctor doesn't seem very professional either. Oh my god, is the baby gonna bite them or something? Oh my god, that does not look like a regular baby. Why is there like <laughs> Wait, is the baby choking him with his cord? That happens, right? Why is he vomiting white stuff? Does the baby have rabies? <laughs> He's foaming at the mouth. Oh my god, please tell me it walks. <laughs> oh it my god, it levitates. flies. See, this is the kind of scary movie I can get behind. No! Yeah. Dr. Mike, no! Cause this is just so... No, don't say it's so bad, it's good. Yeah. No! This is so bad. There's a baby just flying around eating people and choking them out. <laughs> oh my God. That was the most realistic. That was my favorite. And if I had to watch any of the movies you showed me there, that would be the one I would watch. I kind of In fact, James you. is on his way here. We're watching 12, 12, 12. No, before I, leave. I kind of believe My flight's you. in four hours. I have time. Oh, f you. No! 12, 12, 12 is the worst rated horror movie on IMDb. Well, because people are jealous. <laughs> Clearly. Do other movies have babies choking people with umbilical cords? I'm going to go on and rate it myself. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm going to contact the director and try and hire him for my channel. He's probably available, honestly. <laughs> yeah. Wait, why not 12 out of 10? Maybe I'll write that in the comments. Like, I wanted to give it 12, but the system only said 10. I'm giving it an upvote. Not on my account, you're not. I'm gonna share it. Oh, no! <laughs> yeah, you tweet it yourself. Yeah. You can go down on that ship. Well, I have learned so much today. Thank you. You're welcome. When I make a horror movie, I will bring you on the set so that For you accuracy. can make sure I avoid all the problems yes. you just showed me. Yes. And 
if you ever do any kind of very realistic makeup, never. You have to Skype me in and be like, is this okay? From now on. From now on. Anytime I do makeup on yeah. my channel. Well, anytime that it's anatomical. Like if you're doing like a weird character, like the, that pig thing, you can skip calling me. Okay, because you're not a vet. Not a vet. Okay. Otherwise, you can hit me up with a consult and I'll give you some guidance. Ooh, and then, a and then we're doing a um, a therapy session. A therapy session on my channel. Great. Because everybody needs therapy. I Even probably, people yeah. who don't need therapy need therapy. So, yet again, if you would like to watch Dr. Mike, which you do, then go to the links in the description down below, find his beautiful face on YouTube, and like I said, he does all kinds of science-y videos and myth-busting and react videos and meme reviews and all kinds of stuff. Subscribe to his channel, subscribe to mine, because you're here and you might as well. And hit her notification bell. Yeah, until it. it says all. All. Because guess what? I know how many of y'all have hit the bell, and it's not enough. Only 15%. That's not true, it's higher. 16. It's higher. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. Oh, no, like this video. No, you gotta tell them why though. Oh. Like, like this video if you blank. You make something up. Like this video if you have a heartbeat. So what I did there, now everyone has I to said, like it. Now you have to, yeah. otherwise you're dead. Wait, but you're Unless talking- Unless you're an ice queen. You're talking to zombies, so they're gonna say that they don't because they are undead. We really screwed that one up. I'm used to talking to live people. Not me. <laughs> Thanks, Dr. Mike. Bye guys, Dr. Zombie checking out. Stay happy and healthy. Dr. Zombie, I love that. <laughs> Before your time. How old 20? are you? <laughs> 29. I'm 29. Oh. High five. I didn't look at your idea. I should have looked at your True. idea. Were you born day after Halloween? Yes. Is that why? That's why. Okay. It explains everything. Do you right? know what know my birthday is? Day after Veterans Day. So November 12th. You're Scorpio. It makes so much sense. So the, 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 I'm so excited that we're both Scorpios. Yeah. So I can we trust sing. you. You know what's funny? When I tell people I'm a Scorpio, one of two things happens. They either go, yay, high five, or they go, oh. Well, I just did both. So yeah. What's that say about me? You're balanced. Yeah. Positive spin. Yeah. Or she's great.